Hello and welcome to the In Focus series of Drishti IS. I am Ritu and today's session is about hydrogen bomb by China. Yes, you are hearing it right. Instead of nuclear bomb, China has tested hydrogen bomb and it has created a lot of debate and discussion over mainstream media that what other countries should do now and what would be implications on India. This session is important for you GS2 perspective. So in this session, we are going to talk about the hydrogen bomb. What are the implications on India? How it came into the production? So we are going to discuss on to those points. So let's move towards to the uh, news point. So here what we can see that Chinese researchers have successfully tested a non-nuclear hydrogen bomb that uses magnesium hydride hydride to generate a sustained ultra high temperature fireball so you have seen in the picture that which kind of fireball it is generating and it is going to be sustained so which is going to be very dangerous and in a control fill test the 2 kg device produced heat over 1000 degrees celsius for more than 2 seconds about 15 times longer than a similar TNT explosion. So what is TNT explosion here? So TNT explosion is a kind of chemical explosive but here this time it might not be much effective than a TNT explosion lesser I think it is less 40% effective than a TNT explosion but intensity it produces is more. So here we have to check the heat intensity. So this is also one of the thing and this marks a major advancement in both military and energy technologies showcasing the potential solid state hydrogen storage for future applications. So this is the news. Before moving to any further discussion as you already know that this GIS has ISGS foundation course available in both the mediums, Hindi mediums and English medium. So we will see first for the offline batches. So offline batches are available in Drishti IS Noida. So you can check our address. This is our address C171 Oblique 2 uh, Block A Sector 15 Noida. Nearest metro station is Noida Sector 15. Also if you have any queries related to this thing you can call us on 87501 87501. This is our ISGS foundation prelims plus mains course. Similarly, we have such course available on online medium which is available on Drishti learning app. In the ISGS foundation online course, we have upgraded few features on Drishti learning app. These are the features which is AI summary. So based on your video content, they are going to provide you AI summary. So it will be very much helpful for your quick revision. We have also AI quiz facilities. So suppose that after reading and after watching any video content, if you want to test your knowledge, you can also try AI quiz. Also, we have facility of ask me a question. So if you get any kind of confusion while studying, you can resolve your doubts here. So these are for the ISGS foundation course online and offline mediums. Now we are going to discuss on to the science behind the weapons. So this uh, non uh, this new non nuclear hydrogen bomb developed by China C double uh, SC seven hundred five research institute uses magnesium hydride. We already know about the uh, about this thing, a highly efficient hydrogen storage material, and uh, it denoted with conventional explosive. It breaks into tiny particles, releasing hydrogen that ignites and creates a self sustaining combustion loop. And as we have already discussed that it has a 40% of its blast pressure and it has capacity to melt aluminium alloys and cause precise widespread thermal damages. And this highlights the major advancement of China in next generation weaponry energy based explosive. So this is behind the science uh, behind the weaponry. If we'll talk about the military and strategic importance so we can see that if China can use till now there is no such clarity that where they are going to deploy such kind of bombs but if china can deploy in terms of the border areas then might we can create problems for the bordering countries especially the india because india has not tested such kind of things and this shows that india needs to develop such kind of things which can be uh, effective also which can be 
what you can say sustainable also and which can use the clean energy so here this is a challenge for india also that india needs to take help from the quad countries israel and other defense uh, supportive countries so that india could also strengthen its uh, what you can say hydrogen bomb and it can at least start into this area because we can uh, we always see that there is a con uh, always uh, have a thing with india and uh, what you can say china that they have this cooperation and conflict kind of relationship and there are chances that might be in the situation of conflict china can use such kind of the weapons in that situation what would be the reply india can give so we need to prepare for these kind of the things and for that india needs to maintain and india needs to recheck and revisit its defense mechanism and its uh, defense sector so this is also one of the thing and uh, here uh, it shows that it has a what you can say a military importance and it also provides a cleaner energy solution we already had discussed and it has potential for submarine fuel cells and drone power system bridging defense and sustainable energy goals so we already had discussed that how they are going to be effective for the military roles civil roles also and this has been made for the for the sustainable purpose so it also has this thing of called which is clean energy so coming to the discussion on the production breakthrough so there is a facility in sangzi so here we can see that such kind of things have been produced and this is very cost effective and there is a method which is called as one pot synthesis and it has ability to produce 150 tons annually earlier they used to produce only in grams so we can see that how much they have become advanced into this thing and industrial scale uh, production developed by the dalian institute of chemical physics reduces explosion risk during manufacturing and supports both military and civilian applications and the innovation echoes historical energy driven military shifts which uh, china is uh, doing and here we can see that now we'll discuss about the practice question problems before moving to any discussion point we need to address this thing that uh, is china giving a good message to the world so if we talk about the cleaner energy china is giving a good message but if its deployment if its uses then certainly it's a problem and why it's a problem because in competition so many countries will also make and there are chances to develop more conflict into the world arena and uh, we can see that we have a conflict kind of situation with the china usa has a conflict kind of situation with the china and if all these countries will come together and they will start competing in these sectors there are chances that in any kind of war situation such things will be used and there will be a lot of loss to the property and humans so this thing we have to also remind of let's move towards the practice question for problems what is the primary advantage of using magnesium hydride in explosive technology as demonstrated in china's new weapon it increases the blast pressure significantly it creates a self-sustaining combustion loop it reduces the ignition temperature it replaces conventional tnt in landmines so here you have to answer this into the comment section and what is the key takeaways from today's discussion hydrogen bomb cleaner technology tnt explosion so these are the key takeaways and here we have to also a thoughtful question for the mains that by testing hydrogen bomb what china has given message to the india what will be the implications on India and what India needs to do to tackle such kind of development along with the China. So this is the thing which you have to remind, which you have to prepare for your mains examination. Thank you. Have a nice day. For more informative content, like, share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications.